Okay, today I'm going to be showing you what I take with me on my different trips to like ponds or um, the creeks that I go to. So I'm going to be showing you usually, I usually fish at ponds and um, it's my main, it's uh, kind of my main thing. So I'm going to carry most of the three rods I have usually the ones I'll be using or the two I have a flipping uh, crankbait and, and other crap and then my uh, Texas or it's usually for my Texas rigs and all that so then I have my spinning which is for lightweight finesse stuff so uh, first of all I'll carry some jigs with me and I got some Bass Pro Shop jigs three of them different colors red blue and orange I got a uh, little bitsy flip jig with a, a long swim bait trailer on it I got some football a football jig strike king pack a chunk I got bitsy bitsy bugs strike king bitsy bug strike king with a uh, another grub on the back. I also put an extra skirt on that one because I like the green color. You can kind of see the grub. You can see the grub. And I got a uh, chatterbait here. It used to be a chatterbait but the blade broke off. I just see it's the blade right there. I just keep it in there. I'll use this jig. I drilled another hole through it. So this, you know this is all going to be pond fishing stuff. I'm going to carry most of all of this depends on what type of season it is if it's springtime I'm definitely gonna be taking this jig box with me hard baits summertime I'll, I'll probably take this in the spring too I don't have too many hard baits I'm actually going to the spring classic here in a uh, few few days March so uh got me a square bill a deep diver Jerk bait. These are Bass Pro brand. Bass Pro rattle bait. Some swim baits. Storm Wild Eye. You can see that a little bit better. Uh, got a mini bluegill crank bait for some of the big bluegill. Be cranking out of there. I'll actually throw this on a spinning, small, lightweight spinning setup. Got some buzz baits and spinner baits, frogs. Just throw these in the spring, late fall actually, or late summer, early fall is a really good time. I always catch them on the bed still. I don't know, it must just be my pond. I got a, some poppers, um, some head and baits, some more frogs along the bottom, a torpedo down there. So I'll carry this mostly during the summer when they're on a good topwater bite or a uh, crankbait. A terminal. I'm always going to carry this, obviously. Terminal I got. You know, my weights. Carolina rig. Drop shot. And Texas rig. I'll throw these two on my spinning and then the rest of them on a bait caster. Got some shaky head jigs. I use these for tube heads as well. Some round bend offset, some EWG red, I got some drop shot, wacky rig, some uh, bluegill and catfish hooks there, I got a pre-tied double fluke rig, taped it up with some electrical tape, actually doesn't get too tangled up, I just got to stretch out the line a little bit to get it back in, a little Texas rig, drop shot, and a uh, Carolina rig pre-tied, got some snap swivels and uh, some little I use those as beads, so that's going to be the box I always carry, no matter if I'm creek fishing or what. Um, not really going to, I might carry this with me, creek fishing, because I got some tubes in here. This one's kind of beat up, but I use tubes for creek fishing, so I use these a lot, black, black, red, and then green pumpkin. Might use these for smaller creek fish, smallmouth bass. You know, these are chunks, and I'm definitely going to use these for rubber fish. 
those little white grubs work pretty good zoom and then uh i got some crawls here getting uh I'm going to update my creature bait box and my worm box when I go to the spring classic sale because I'm getting some crap there. So, uh, I mean, it depends on if they're feeding on crawdads or more swimming style baits. So, I don't know if I'll be carrying this with me all the time. But the terminal tackle, definitely all the time for creek fishing. I carry all of these four ponds. My worm, I'm going to be carrying with me all the time. I got flukes and small stick baits. And I got four inch stick baits in three different colors and four different colors uh, Senkos. This is actually a uh, Cabela's and there's two Bass Pro and one Gary Yamamoto. And there's, uh, I got all my finesse worms. I don't even know how many colors are in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five 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 or six colors maybe only got five of each in there so so i'm going to carry this with me all the time creek fishing or not creek fishing is going to be my worm possibly creature and definitely terminal all the time and then my ponds if it's springtime i'm going to be carrying jigs terminal and creature and worm and then depends on what they're feeding on if you ever seen the back of the bassist crushers if they're really red that that means they've been feeding on crawls and uh other stuff like that okay so you know i got my tackle back here always going to carry some line in this pocket and this pocket back here i got my uh grippers for there's some uh, actually gar and all kinds of stuff and so saw guy and all that in my creeks I got some hook extractors some power bait scent in there and I just got a, uh, a worm organizer in there I think you've seen my my 2014 bass tackle video so right, I'm gonna show you real quick on uh, what I use to throw everything on and what my creek fishing poles are and uh, that kind of stuff so Skeet Reese spinning combo. I got tight on a little grub here with a wacky worm hook. And that's uh, really lightweight. Throw this on my drop shots. Take this creek fishing every now and again. But uh, I got a 10 pound fluorocarbon or floor clear P line on it. So it's going to be my main finesse rod for creek and pond so this one's going to be my main pond rod i'm not going to carry this with me creek fishing because there's a lot of thick branches i got a ducket micro magic and I, you know ducats are great if you've ever had one super light and uh pro qualifier really like this reel it's a really lightweight setup this is for pond fishing crank baits and other stuff like that spinner baits creek fishing pole oh yeah i got 14 pound mono on that ducket i got 20 pound mono this is my jig fishing rod i take this to ponds for jig fishing in the spring and texas rig but and then uh it's just a browning stalker combo i got this when i was really little and didn't even know how to work a bait caster and now it's coming in handy so uh next is my creek fishing pole it's actually five foot six it's a little browning Midas spinning six pound mono. It's got a, it's actually got a pretty nice drag system on it for what it is. Now tied on a, a little grub here. And I fish this just for my creeks. And why I fish it for my creeks is it's a two piece. It's a little cheapo. It's made for a, one of those push button reels, but actually just threw on a spinning one because it's real little so it actually just as you can see that twists off and I can put it in my rod holder my tackle bag walk to the next spot I'm good to go so I got four rods I got four rods I mainly use just the three so that's going to be what I carry with me kind of a long video 
it's going to be what I carry with me, ponds and creek fishing. I'm going to be having videos in my GoPro at a hat cam mount. And if you watch my racing channel, I race quads. So if you watch my racing channel, here's actually a view of my wall. It's kind of... It's got my, some of my plaques and stickers. And then some of my pictures up there. We actually painted that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to have videos of my GoPro and all that on my racing channel. And then follow my fishing channel. Obviously, you guys are here for fishing. So uh, subscribe to me both there. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned. It's almost spring.